Hey everyone, this is Heather with the Potomac Bead Company. Today I'm going to show you how to make our new bracelet called the O Scale Bracelet. This bracelet is a different version from our MAGA scale bracelet, which uses magatamas. Instead of using our long magatamas or drops or rizos, we're actually using our new Czech glass seed bead called um, Czech O's. Um, and these O's pretty much look like little Cheerios. They, um, they look just like that small little O seed beads. So this bracelet um, is a very simple bracelet to make and um, it is a peyote stitch base. Um, it's even count peyote stitch um, and I used actually four, uh, four rows for this bracelet and my embellishments include um, our O's and then I also used 15 O seed beads for the uh, circle portion, the middle portion of our O's. So um, a, it's, it's very simple, and for my closure device here, or my clasp, I use a pewter toggle and clasp here. The bracelet that we're going to do, we're actually going to use a cup bead. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the materials that you'll need, um, again, like I said, you'll probably need 10 grams of 8 seed beads. And for this project, I have a sea green bluish mix of 8 seed beads. Um, and then you'll also need about nine grams of our O seed beads. And for this bracelet, I'm going to use um, our peri peridot color. And then um, I have a size 15 O uh, in gun metal. And instead of, like I said, instead of using a pewter toggle and clasp, I'm actually going to use our check cup button in a jet picasso color and for the clasp um, portion i'm going to create our clasp using our seed beads you'll also need a size 10 or 12 uh, beading needle and preferably 0 0.006 inch fire line uh, for this pr bracelet that we're going to do i'm using it in, in the color green our new color green and I'm actually going to put a stop bead on our break on on the thread once you've threaded your needle. So go ahead and grab your materials, and then we'll get started here. Okay, so like I said, this bracelet is based on an even count peyote stitch, and I'm only going to do four rows of it. So I'm going to show you how to do an even even um, even count peyote stitch. I've go I've gone ahead and placed my stop bead on my thread, leaving about um, a nice long length for um, adding my cl my device my closure device at the end or my clasp at the end. I'm going to go ahead with my needle, pick up four of my 80 seed beads, and I'm going to drop them down to my stop bead. Um, and at this point, I'm gonna pick up one of my 80 seed bead, going to skip that first 80, and then take my needle back down that second 80. And just kind of pull. And what that does is should bring it, it should bring that second 8-0 that you just put on your project kind of right next to that top one. Now that your thread is coming out of what's now the third bead, I'm going to pick up another 8-0 seed bead, I'm going to skip the fourth one, I'm going to skip this one, and I'm going to take my needle down the last 8-0 seed, seed bead on that row. And I'm going to pull. So here you have just created three rows, three columns, one, two, three of peyote stitch. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to pick up my seed bead, 80 seed bead. Now I'm going back up. I'm going to skip this seed bead in place, and I'm going to take my needle up the second seed bead that's kind of jutting right out. And it's going to lay nicely next to that bottom going to pick up another 80 seed bead, skipping that seed bead, the one seed bead, and I'm going to take my needle up that top layer, the last seed bead. And I'm going to pull. I'm going to do one more row, one more column, picking up an 80, skipping the first seed bead and taking my needle down the second seed bead, second 80 seed bead, and I'm going to pull. Picking up another 80 seed bead, skipping that third seed bead, one, two, third seed bead, and taking my needle down that 
fourth seed bead jutting out. And that is basic even count peyote stitch. You're going to keep, you're going to continue this pattern until you have achieved the desired length of your bracelet. Now I'm going to show you a faster version of peyote. Um, at this point I'm going to pick up four of my 80 seed beads and I'm going to drop them down to my project. What I'm going to do now, instead of going back up my project, I'm actually going to take my needle down the top the top first 80 seed bead of my column and I'm going to pull. And at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip this seed bead, the very first one, take my needle down the second seed bead. And what that does is it pulls that seed bead into place and then take my needle down that third seed bead already in the project. And what that does is actually bring that seed bead into that peyote stitch. And now that my needle is coming down that third seed bead, the second to last one, I'm actually going to take my needle down that last seed bead on that column. And that just kind of moves it into stability there. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to pick up four seed beads. I'm going to drop them down. Four of my 80 seed beads, drop them down to my project. And I'm going to swing them around. And I want to get them into their pattern. I'm going to take my needle down the first seed bead from the top so that they all lay nice next to each other. And I'm going to take my needle down the second seed bead that we just put on our project and pull. And then I want to align it into my project. So I'm going to take my needle down that third seed bead that's jutting out. I'm going to pull. And it brings it in closely. And now to complete that row, I'm going to take my needle down that last seed bead of that row. And that is a fast peyote stitch, um, fast even count peyote stitch. And like I said, you're going to continue that pattern, a peyote, even count peyote, until you've achieved the desired length of your bracelet. Okay, so now that you've completed the length of your peyote base stitch, um, like we have here for that bracelet, what we're going to do now is continue our embellishment. We're going to move on to our embellishment. Now, you are going to take your needle off of the existing remaining thread that you've used for your peyote stitch because um, I will tell you, if you continued your peyote stitch um, or you continued using your thread for your peyote stitch to um, use for your embellishment, what's going to happen is that your bracelet is actually going to bend and it might even break. So I suggest at this point um, using another, going going ahead and cutting a couple more feet of some yarn from some thread and using a um, and attaching that to your needle um, and then we're gonna start the embellishment so what I'm gonna do is take my needle up I'm gonna take my needle up the uh, very first 80 that I have here on the other side where my stop bead is and I'm gonna string string my needle through and again I'm just going to leave a little bit of tail and at this point what I'm going to do is create a half hitch knot and to do a half hitch knot I'm going to show you um, I'm going to take your needle down um, in between underneath that thread in between the two beads and you're going to string Pull your string almost completely through until you've got a little loop and then you're going to take your needle through that loop that you've created and pull your needle until you've you've created a little knot and you've just you've created a half hitch knot what's called a half hitch knot at this point what I'm going to do this just kind of secures my thread so I know I'm not going to lose anything at this point what I'm going to do is pick up my o bead that I have, 
Um, it doesn't matter what side. I'm going to pick that up. And I'm also going to pick up my 15 O. So my O bead, my 15 O, drop that down to my project. And I'm actually going to take my needle. Um, I'm going to skip the 15 O and take my needle through the, uh, through the O bead. And it's going to go through, my needle is going to go through that second 8 O seed bead from the bottom. And I'm going to pull. And I've just created what looks like a little rosebud. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to pick up an O bead and a 15 O seed bead. I'm going to drop that down to my project. And I'm going to skip the 15 O with my needle, take my needle through that O bead. And if I can, I'm trying to get you guys to see where my needle is going here. And then I'm go going to, instead of taking it through that third 8 O, I'm going to follow this line here and take my needle up through the last 8 O on that row. And then pull. So then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to pick up an O bead and then a 15 O seed bead. Drop it down, bring it down to your project. And what we're going to do now is actually swing it, swing it around. We want to go through the second row, um, which is going to be that bead. We're going to skip that first bead first 8-0 and take it through the second 8 that we see here. I'm going to hold it up closer for you so you guys can see. I'm skipping, I'm skipping that 8-0 and I'm going to take my needle through this 8-0. I'm going to take my needle through the O bead and taking it down that second 8-0, which is the next column over, and I'm going to pull. And I'm going to adjust it just a little bit so it's not kind of flailing in the wind. And there we go. Pull it nice and tight. And we're going to do it again. I'm going to show you how, one more time, pick up my 8-0 and an 11-0. I mean a 15. Pick up my O bead and my 15-0. Drop it down to my project. And as you can see, my thread is coming out of that o, that 8 O seed bead. I don't want to go through this one that's lying to the right. I actually want to bring it down to the last 8 O seed bead in that column. So I'm going to skip the 15 O, take my needle, skip the 15 O, take my needle down through the O bead, and then again through my 8 O seed bead, that last 8 O seed bead. And I'm going to pull so it's nice and tight. I'm going to show you a couple more times. Pick up an O bead and a 15 O seed bead. Drop it down to my project. Now that we're swinging, I'm going to move this out a little bit so you can see. My needle's coming out of the bottom of the 8 O seed bead. I'm not going to move it over to this one. I'm actually going to go inside to the next column and take my needle through my 8 O through my O bead and then again through that 8 O seed bead. And I'm going to pull. And pull tight so it kind of lays on top or lays to the side however you want. At this point I'm going to pick up an O bead and a 15 O and drop that down and as you can see here where my thread is coming out, it's coming out of that 8O. I don't want to go through the 8O to my right. I actually want to go straight up through the top 8O. Going through your O bead first, skipping your 15O with your seed bead, I mean with your needle. Skip the 15O, take your needle through the hole of the O bead, and then take your needle through that top 8O seed bead. and then pull. And I'm going to show you a couple more times. Pick up an O bead and a 15 O seed bead. 
drop that down. And what I'm going to do at this point is, is I'm bringing my project back around. And what I want, I'm not going to take my needle through the top 8-0. I want to take it over the, um, the second 8-0 in the peyote stitch. So I'm going to skip my 15-0 with my needle, take my needle through the hole of the O bead, and then through that second 8-0 seed bead in the column over. And pull. I'm going to do it again. Pick up an O C bead and a 15 O. Drop that down. And what I want to do is instead of taking my needle through the, the seed bead, the 8 O seed bead to the right, I'm actually going to follow my line down and taking my needle through my O bead as well as that last seed bead in that column. And you're, you'll get the pattern, you'll get the feel for it, but remember, um, you're, gonna stick on, you're gonna stick to the columns when you're going through each O bead, and that's peyote stitch. So, um, and then you're just gonna continue this pattern going through, through each 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 um, eight O seed bead as you know whichever eight O seed bead you want you don't have to follow the pattern that I have um, the pattern that I have actually makes it nice and tight looking like this like the pattern that I have here um, and like I said you you don't need to make it as tight as I did you can skip some eight O's if you want you don't have to go through every eight O seed bead for your embellishment I just think it it makes it um, it just gives it a really nice look to it and looks really nice and full. Um, and once you've done and you've gotten to the very end of, um, of your peyote, after you've done embellishing with your O's and your 15, uh, your O beads and your 15 O's, I'm going to show you how to attach your cup bead here. Okay. So now that I've completed the entire length of my bracelet with my O embellishments, um, I just want you to notice here how I finished off um, with my O's and I went to the actual the second to the last row or column of my peyote stitch. I didn't put any O's through these last two here um, but I did go to the very end just kind of like I did at the very beginning and so I've completed doing my O embellishments and I just kind of mixed it up a little bit. I, di I didn't really have a variation or a theme. Um, so we're going to go to the beginning or to the front. It doesn't matter really which for you. I mean, pick whatever side you want to choose to add your clasp. For me, I'm going to start at the beginning bracelet because my thread is just a little bit shorter on this side and I have more thread on the other side to work for a loop. And what I'm going to do is turn my project over because it's going to be easier for me to add my clasp on when I've got my project over. Um, so at this point, what I'm going to show you, you've got two threads, one that's actually for your peyote stitch and the other one is for your O embellishments. So I'm using the thread for my peyote stitch and I'm just going to kind of weave about. I'm going to take my needle and weave it in, weave it, weave it in throughout my peyote stitch until, um, I am to a point where I can bring my um, my needle back up here, up on the edge here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a couple of my 8 seed beads. I'm probably going to add three. And I'm also going to add my clasp or my, um, my button not my clasp, this is going to be my button. And then I'm also going to add a couple of 15 O's, probably four. And what I'm going to do is take my needle down through that second hole of my button, cut button that I'm using, and I'm going to um, add two more or three more of my 8 O seed beads um, and then bring my needle back through that peyote that 8 in my peyote stitch. And that's gonna be your cut button, um, your clasp portion. And 
And then I'm just going to kind of weave through a couple more times and do some half hitch notches so that I have a nice little toggle clasp here. So here's my half, hit, half, half hitch knot, I'm just kind of tying off anything so that um, it's not going to be any, it's not going to be loose. And, and then I'm going to go through it once more time. And what you can do is tie, once you tie off your thread, you're going to do the same thing to the existing thread on the other end um, of that uh, where, where you have the existing thread for your O beads. You're just going to kind of weave it through your bracelet um, and kind of tighten it a little bit. And then what we're going to do, um, we're going to take our project over to the other side here and we're going to add our clasp and I'm going to use that. I'm actually going to use our seed beads for that. So I'm going to put my needle back onto that thread and again, I'm going to, I'm going to reverse flip my bracelet over and I'm going to do the same thing that I did to the other side. I'm just going to take my needle and thread, just kind of weave it through my peyote stitch so that it's to the point where I'm going to make my loop. So I'm just going to pick up a couple of my eightos and drop them down. And at this point, I'm going to um, create my circle of seed beads and I'm going to make it big enough so that my, my button is going to fit around it, but I don't want it too big to where it's going to fall off. So this is a good trial and error for, for you all. Um, and I have to do this a couple of times because I can never, my eye always deceives me and um, I can never get it on just right. So I'm always constantly adding on seed beads, taking it back through the base, checking to see if it fits. And if it doesn't fit, then I'm just kind of re, re, um, threading, restitching, um, until it actually fits. So it's a trial and error and um, takes some getting used to. Um, so I'm actually only, I'm actually going to take my needle back down those first two seed beads that I added and so that it's kind of, it does have a little bit of a leeway here. And at this point I'm just going to check to see if it fits and it might be, it might fit actually just right. So I think I had about 10. So there's my toggle and my clasp that we just created using just plain seed beads. And that's a good test for me. So I think we can all count together. If you want, I used 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 8 O's for my cup button that I used, um, and then two for the actual base. And like I said, after I've done that, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to reinforce it a couple more times and I'm going to use some half hitch notches just to make sure it stabilizes. And then maybe then I'm going to do the same thing to the other existing thread, kind of weave it through my project so that, um, once it's done, you've got a pretty, pretty bracelet, pretty, oh, O scale bracelet here that you've just created. Um, it takes a little bit to get your O's in place, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed your project. Hope you understood the instructions. And like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask one of us. Um, leave a comment for us or come into the store if you if you're if you live nearby um you can also check us out on facebook and on um, our other youtube videos and we also have a website on um, potomacbeats.com and again thanks very much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it